Okay, so Jesse and I are going to do a demonstration of how to access a cloud desktop using an iPad, although you could do it on any tablet. So the first thing that we're going to do is establish an internet connection using a Verizon iPhone 4 as a tether. So Jesse, the first thing that you need to do is go into the settings and turn on the personal hotspot. Now you're going to enter the settings on the iPad. Under Wi-Fi, you're going to find Renee's iPhone. Click on that. So in the top left, you should see a little icon pop up to reflect a Wi-Fi connection. You can minimize that now. So the first thing that you need to do to uh, establish the connection to a cloud desktop is create a VPN, which is a virtual private network. So you're going to put down the iPhone and just go to the AnyConnect on the iPad and press on. And it's going to ask you for a username and a password. And this cloud requires a second factor of authentication. So the first thing that we're going to do is enter the password. And now we also need to enter a six-digit code. And we're going to get that using the Vasco DigiPass uh, software. So you'll get the one-time password, which is a six-digit code. And we're going to enter that in. What's great about this is if you're sitting in a Starbucks and somehow somebody hacks into your connection, they're able to obtain your password without also having the six-digit code that changes every 60 seconds. They're not going to be able to establish a VPN tunnel to your cloud desktop. So now we are connected to the VPN. There's a little icon in the left-hand corner of the iPad now. So we'll minimize this, and we're going to open VMware View, and that's the client that we use to establish a connection to a virtual desktop. So if you just click on that, exactly. And just press done. Now the client is loading. And that's it. And now we have established the connection to the cloud desktop. And we can use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, Outlook, Internet Connection, any type of application that is installed on this Windows desktop, whether it be way more robust than the desktop could support, like QuickBooks, if it's installed on the desktop in the cloud, in the data center, you're good to go. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome.